guys, LinkedIn right now is so, so valuable. And this webinar is really about like how you can leverage being a podcast guest to really solidify and build your brand. Think about it. You may not have the uh, wherefore to build your own podcast, right? It's a lot for a lot of people, but you can just go on other people's podcasts and then you can build your brand through there. You leverage other people's audiences because I guarantee you by you going on someone else's podcast, they're going to fall in love with you because you have a gift, you're special, you have a business, you're empowering people, you know? So that's why this is extremely, extremely powerful. It's extremely powerful. You can leverage other people's podcasts appearances to now build your LinkedIn. You can build your LinkedIn profile. Imagine when people come onto your LinkedIn profile, imagine that people on your LinkedIn profile, they're seeing you appearing on this person's podcast, this other person's podcast. In their eyes, where does that position you? Where do they position you? They see, oh, this person's important, right? So even your potential clients, people who have come into your CRM system or people, who, your leads, right? You know, you're communicating with them. Maybe you're hosting an event. What are they going to do? They're going to go, of course, they're going to go on your LinkedIn profile. They're going to go do their due diligence. So when they go on your LinkedIn profile and they see you on other people's podcasts, sharing your expertise in pictures, doing what you do, it's it's truly powerful. It positions you as that authority expert. And then you're still able to build up the time that someone can spend with you. And hopefully, and that's what we'll go into, the type of podcast you want to go into but if that's a growing show, like you can still be benefiting from that two, three years down the line. How many times do you go on YouTube and you watch videos from five years ago, from six years ago? I, I, I do that. I, I see videos on YouTube that someone uploaded eight years ago, as long as it's good. So you could be that person and you can consistently generate leads, demand. You have a book, like anything like that. This is really powerful. So obviously going back to the power of podcasting. Why is podcasting so powerful? Like I said, hey guys, podcasting is television right now. I don't know if people are realizing what's happening in the world at the moment, but podcast is the new television. I don't watch TV. I, I really watch TV. I don't watch the news. Um, I don't watch Channel 10. I don't, I don't know. Maybe other people do, but most people, their attention is on YouTube. You're watching, you're listening to podcasts, right? So we even said like this webinar is kind of like a podcast. We'll upload this actually on our audio platform. So someone could be cleaning their house or doing something and they're listening to this. So that's the power of podcasting. You reach new audiences, you share your expertise, you build authority. We're talking about podcasting on other people's shows. It's powerful. You build relationships. You know why also being a podcast guest is powerful? It depends on the niche that you're in, but if you have great value in what you're saying, and let's say the other person who invites you on the podcast potentially may even need your service. So they're interviewing you and then they're like, yo, like the problem, this, the, what this person's talking about, I actually have these problems as a podcast host. Like even the guy I had, for example, today, we're both in marketing, but like speaking to him, seeing his leadership and where the company he is, I'm like, whoa, some of the things he's saying he does for his clients, we may need some of those things. I was even thinking that myself and I do marketing. Imagine. So imagine for, you know, clients out there or people out there who are watching that podcast, they will see him. And they would maybe want to go and work with him, right? We'll put that on YouTube. We'll put it on everywhere. So that's why this is so powerful. And you can use it to generate leads. You want to generate leads and attract high quality engaged prospects. Cool. And guys, I won't go for too long. This one this is going to be short, packed. You ask questions. How can you get this information and take it to the bank? So building an expert profile, you got to select the right podcast. You know, like, okay, we'll give an example. Mumbi here, right? Well, what is she doing? She's empowering women to have an idea and bring it out into reality. Uh, well, there is many podcast hosts out there who are women who kind of on that same mission, um, you can find people like that and get on their podcast. Get on their podcast. They can even see you on other people's podcasts. Establish a relationship with them. Then now you're getting where? In front of their audience. They have an audience of women out there who are watching. Well, now... They've never heard of you. You get in front of their audience. Imagine you do that. You can literally go other women founders who have podcasts and there's plenty of them out there. Boom. You can go in there and you can leverage that. So you've got to select the right podcast. There's also a website I've seen that um, you kind of 
create a profile and then there's all these podcasters and then you can apply to not apply, but you can, you know, see if you can match with someone. So you want to identify podcasts that align with your expertise and audience. Well, again, like if you're someone you may be thinking, well, how the hell am I going to get on people's podcasts? Well, LinkedIn, you may have sales navigator. We have sales navigator. I pay extra for it because it's really, really powerful. You can literally type in sales navigator, um, women podcast hosts, and it's going to give you a list of women podcast hosts, male podcast hosts, or manufacturing podcast, CEO podcast. So now you just connect with those people, connect with those people on LinkedIn, right? Show your thought leadership expertise, build that relationship. You can get on a podcast and leverage that for LinkedIn. Let's say you have a marketing team behind you, or you, let's say you use AI, or you know, you're still in the ropes. You can go on someone else's podcast. You would maybe even ask them, hey, can I get some you know, can I, can I get some of the content on this podcast? If they upload it on YouTube, you will have access to that anyway. And then you can go and leverage that content for yourself, take things from that podcast and put it on your profile. So you want to build your expert profile guys. There's no better time to do this. Like there are so many opportunities. There are so, so many opportunities out here. I've been here. What I've been up and since till four 30 in the morning, just being here because there is so much to do. There, uh, Felicity, can you put on mute? Thanks for joining, by the way. Just put on mute. But um, yeah, you know, working from up into the morning until now because there's so many opportunities, so many opportunities out there. So like, you know, li again, LinkedIn, being on podcasts, like, and you could do it through Zoom. As I said, I brought someone as a guest on. I was actually thinking about him, like, man, this guy's he can come on my podcast today. Of course, I got to learn from him. It's a win-win situation, but he doesn't have his own podcast, but him leveraging our podcast is powerful for his business. It's powerful when we release that with this guy, Simon, today, it's going to be really powerful. He Now, when we post that on LinkedIn, and obviously the way we post, it's going to make him feel, oh, it's just going to build his brand. Especially if you already have a good brand out there, you just leveraging other people's podcasts is powerful. If anyone has any questions, you know, feel free to, you know, butt in and, and we'll have more questions towards the end. So preparing for impactful interviews, you want to maximize your podcast appearances. You want to be on as many as you can, as many as you can. And it doesn't matter where you are on your journey. You can get on people's podcasts, right? Know the podcast audience and the host. You know, so like Naomi, for example, you 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 want to start your own consulting firm. There is people out there who have a consulting podcast, business consulting podcast. Every audience, every niche, anything that you have an audience in, if you see potential customers in a place, your niche target customers, there is a podcast around that. And even if it's not around that, your perspective is still new to people, right? So you really want to be able to put yourself in this position, you know, and have key points and stories ready to share, be authentic and share actionable insights. All of you guys have something special. You all have something amazing now. And I, and, and I'll even say that every person I've had on my podcast, that's what kind of opened my eyes, but I'm like, wow, every single person has a story. The person on the street, whoever I've had so many people and I can, and I just love doing it talking to people because everyone has a story. So imagine if I'm the podcast host there and I'm fascinated by your story, whoever you are, and I've had you on my show. Imagine how many more other people out there who are listening to that will be. So imagine if you just go and do that, do that as much as you can on other people's shows, go and do that, go and, you know, maximize your reach, but you're going to dominate the world. So you want to leverage that again for LinkedIn. So, you know, post about your appearances, right? With compelling captions. I always talk about the copy on LinkedIn is very, very important. That's one of the most important things that we look at right now is what is our copy? What are we writing? How are we psychologically engaging them to be like, you know, this is extremely powerful. So you want to use content from the podcast to leverage awareness, you know, make more people learn about you, make more people learn about your story. Again, I will say me, the one person, I'll give you an example. Um, there's a big entrepreneur out there called Daniel Priestley. Well, Sujira, how did I found out about Daniel Priestley? I was watching podcasts, I found him. And he actually talked about this. Actually, when I think about it, this is what he did. What he did was he actually paid for it. So because he is a big entrepreneur, he's a big entrepreneur 
Um, he's already had successful businesses. He was paying people to go on as many podcasts as possible. And the people, especially with big audiences, he was paying for it because he, he knew. So he was paying on all these people, going on all these podcasts, and he was building his brand so much. It just... 10x his business so i became a customer me he right now i pay his company over a hundred dollars a month why because i saw him wear on a podcast so if i could pay him like that and and become a client of his you know because i liked his brand i liked what he was talking about imagine that you can do that too you can go on other people's podcasts and they're gonna like who you are they're gonna like what you're saying and if there's something that you're solving a problem for them they're going to come to you and you're just going to build that trust. I didn't buy from Daniel Priestley right away. Now, what did I do? I saw him on one podcast, watched another podcast. I kept going and digging into that rabbit hole because I got so much value and he was on all these other people's podcasts and I became a client, but I came became a client because I watched over maybe seven to eight hours of podcasts, maybe even over two, three, two, three months. Then I said, you know what? I'm hooked. So that is what you can do. And it's the long game. This is all I always talk about, you know, the long term. So you can use this again, if you want to maybe a, some people might want a quicker ROI. Um, the, the way you're going to get the quickest ROI on this is by using LinkedIn. It's the way you're going to really LinkedIn, LinkedIn, LinkedIn is so, so, so valuable. So, you know, you're building a brand and community, you know, and it, that's why I like to say you automate trust and credibility. When you put your brand out there, you automate trust and credibility. So people will just naturally begin to trust you. The more they see you out there, they're going to be to trust you, right? So you want to keep creating consistent and valuable content that resonates with your audience. So by you going on people's podcasts, you build a community. You build a community. You build people who want to listen to you, who value what you have to say, you know, maybe again, you're a mother out there and you've been struggling raising children and running a business. You just going on a podcast and talking about it. There's other mothers out there who relate to you, who actually, wow, I see myself in her. And actually, you know what? Yes, I want to go to Naomi's consulting business, right? I want to go to Mayo's social media empire because I like her story. I like how she came up from here and she, you know, built her business and now she's doing this, right? The same as Felista, I want to go to Felista's virtual assistance company because, you know, I just kept watching her like talk on people's shows. I kept, you know, listening to her and, and I fell in love with her voice and her story. So that's what you do when you build a podcast. Now, I actually want to show you, I had uh, this lovely lady. Um, she's the CEO of, a, um, um, she owns her own firm. This is what she had to say. I think I can play this. Appearing on podcasts for me, mm. um, it can be... I think it potentially can be a game changer mm -hmm. because podcast audiences, I just love. I just love they're more engaged and more in tune, and they and they're listening specifically to that program to get the information. Yeah, and 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 that's why, I like like for example, we, we've been having this founder series, and like social media has changed. Why I say that because now it's about interest graph. So you could have people who never heard of you. Never even heard of me, but the way we put the description and all the wording behind it and what the AI does is this is about luxury brands. It will now put that like content in front of the right people. It's kind of like, man, I realize like social media, the algorithm, it's kind of like manifestation. If you think yeah. about something and like that's in your alignment, now you're going to see content within your alignment. So like, just like this conversation now, once this is uploaded, there's a group of people that will come in. Of course, we have our audience, but other group of people over time, something that lives on forever. Yeah, I cut it short there. I probably even could have kept that going longer. Um, but yeah, that was a powerful conversation, right? So that's what she was doing, right? So, so she's a CEO. She works within luxury brands. Well, she actually, I met her on LinkedIn because she said, hey, this is, well, this is a huge tip. She put out a post on LinkedIn and said, hey, I'm looking to appear on as many podcasts as possible. Um, I'm looking to appear on as many podcasts as possible. Can you maybe write down your podcast? Um, and then, you know, I messaged her and then boom, she came on my podcast. Why? Because she knows it. She's, she, has, she even has her own podcast, but she's leveraging someone else's show where she doesn't have to do any of the work. She doesn't have to do any of the production. She's coming in. She's telling her story. She's talking about, she's looking great. She was already prepared. And now she has a book that's coming out next month 
our platform's growing, we're growing by this time next year, whenever we're just, we're going to have so many views and, and traction. And so now they can come in two, three years later and they'll find this video. They'll watch this video. She will generate leads. She will even have people buy her book from this podcast interview that we did. Right. So that's why like, this is so, so valuable. You know, I'll, I'll show you guys another person um, who was, who's actually um, quite smart doing this let me just show you come on come on um this was actually the person i had on today this is uh private um i haven't i haven't posted it yet so i guess you guys you know get a little sneak peek access you know this guy here huge digital marketing firm right and um I'll just what up. happened huge digital marketing firm and now he knows that he needs to leverage the power of building a podcast the power of appearing on a podcast for him to be able to build his brand, right? Everyone wants to keep growing. Everyone wants to keep growing, right? And so this is, you just got to think about it as like, think about it like you're appearing on different TV stations. The more TV stations that you appear on, the more people are going to find out about you. They're going to know you, they're going to like you, and they're going to trust you, right? So I'll show you one person. Uh, uh, so this guy here, this is just a clip, but we have the full episode. Major Williams, he was actually quite a big person. He ran for mayor in America and California. Um, he did the same thing. And look, he's a, quite established, right? He's like, look, I'm trying to get on as many podcasts as possible. He came and we had quite a successful show that he's still generating awareness. He's, he's generating recognition just be, because he came on the show, right? And so now what he's doing, and I've seen him do it, We'll actually even let's even let's even you know because I think it's always good to I rather show than talk about it right um so we'll go on his LinkedIn profile um and you know we're we're talking about LinkedIn because a lot of people here uh, you know B two B so you know he was someone we built a relationship again I definitely see future partnerships with with Major Williams because he's you know quite an established and quite big entrepreneur in America doing amazing big things multi-millionaire in in revenue he has speaking courses so what does he do he knows that he's got quite a big audience so he came on the podcast and now this this video was ages ago but he's still sharing our podcast interview for he even maybe was running out of content to post some 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 people even run out of content to post but now what does he do he's posting what our interview that we did with him why because it's just building his trust it's building his recognition right he's still posting all his content but now and you know he was able to post content from our you know our podcast conversation you know so that's why like this is so so powerful like you can really use this to your advantage anyone out there no matter where you're starting right the same as let's say faith who's here Faith, you know, is building the next social media empire. Well, what she's going to do is she's going to build her brand and then she's going to be going on podcasts and, and talking about, you know, talking about it. She's going to be going and saying, hey, this is where I started. I started here. And she's going to be going on different podcasts, going and, and speaking in, in stadiums. But you do that because you know that the attention, people are listening to podcasts all the time. So now if you can appear, let's say even in a place like Kenya, there's people who have podcasts. How can you maybe position yourself to go on a business person's podcast? Imagine you go, you're in Kenya and you go on someone's podcast that has a decent audience. You, you know, you connect with them on LinkedIn. You, you just be strategic. You build your brand up. You connect with them and say, hey, come on my podcast. Now you go and you speak so well, you're going to have a whole audience of people who are going to come in message you can business can come into you because they saw you on, a, on another person's podcast and that's something that i'm trying to do more before we go into questions i will just play a small little video um so yeah. you're wondering the value in being a podcast guest think about it you want to build your personal brand is it important as ever and coming on this show allows you to do just that you're able to leverage our audience but not only that you're able to leverage the content from this podcast as you clock up the hours someone spends with you, the longer time someone spends listening to your story, your solutions in the marketplace allows you to do something special. It allows you to build a community and build a brand. You can leverage the community here, but you can also leverage the content from this show to be able to use where? On LinkedIn. LinkedIn is where you're going to shine. LinkedIn is where you're going to generate leads. So whoever you are, you want to come and tell your story. You want to be able to come in and be a guest that allows you to build your brand. Link in the description, we'll get in touch.
So join our waiting list to feature on the Rebasha Family podcast. So that that's just an example of what I was talking about on being on a podcast. I was saying specifically our podcast because, you know, we're the best. So of course, you you know, people are going to want to come on our podcast, but this is just in general for people out there going on as many people's podcasts, especially when you, you can go in into your niche, go in someone's niche where they have similar interests to you, similar alignment, and you can really make a killing. So anyone has any questions, feel free to ask, um, you know, because I don't want to just be here talking. This is all for you guys. So I want you to get as much value. And if there's any questions anyone has. He, feel free to ask. Oh, what's the presentation? Yes. Uh, I, can, I can ask um, because some of the people I called are, mm -hmm. you know, afraid. Well, I don't know if it's the word afraid to be seen. Mm -hmm. And uh, it takes a while for people to feel comfortable to show their faces and be out there. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking if I was to advise them about going on to podcast, uh, some of them feel that you need to be very experienced or very knowledgeable in their field before they can start appearing on podcasts or appearing publicly. What, what would you say about that? Um, let me ask you, how did you feel when you came on our podcast? What was the experience like? Oh, look, by the time you guys had started that podcast, I'd been in business for a while. So for me... I was, you know, I was fine, but I'm thinking more so like the people who are very early in their uh, stages of their business. And because I've had people who are like, initially they say, oh, I don't want to show my face, but then eventually they see the value of that. So it takes a while. And so I, was, I wanted to hear your thoughts on, you know, people appearing when they're very early on in their business, when they're not feeling confident, like they're not yet an expert in their field. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but 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 that's why I'm asking you, like, of course, like your experience and you're used to it. But like mm -hmm. when you're on the podcast, mm -hmm. like what's some advice that you think you could give them for them to 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 do that? Like, so what what experience when you're doing it? What mindset are you in when you're on a podcast that makes you still and you're not shy? But what advice could you give from your end? Because you being a being a guest in that position. If you were in their shoes? Well, if I was in their shoes. So personally, I, you know, I'm building my brand, right? Mm -hmm. And for me, I have always wanted to, um, you know, I'm comfortable showing my face and it was always part of my plan. So I, you know, I feel confident. Well, I, I suppose, you know, I'm, I look forward to opportunities to, because I feel like it really aligns with what I want to do. I want to be a key person of influence. Um, and so it, it's really part of the journey. It's part of the strategy to get there. So, yeah, I'm always open to the opportunities to do that. Mm. Like what, there's two things, because I do get that all the time. A lot of people say, well, I don't want to have to show my face. And yeah, I get that you don't have to. If, if if you really don't want to, like for your you know advice for your clients, if they really don't want to, find someone in your business who does or who can, right? There has to be a face that, you know, there's only a certain plateau. There's only a certain place you're actually eventually going to reach where people want to feel the soul of the business. They want to get to know like, what's this about now more than ever, really? So like at the end of the day, either you find someone else to do it or you just don't have a choice. If you don't want to grow your business as much as possible, then, you know, don't, don't show your face. Don't go on camera. Like, like at the end of the day, that's what it's about. So if, if I was to give them advice, it's like, and the reason I was asking you was more, if you do do it, you want to put yourself in a position where you're natural. You don't even know that the camera's there. And, that, and that's what I like the people who come on. It's like, the camera's not even there. So I guess it'd be maybe giving them advice is if you've thought about it, because you want to grow your business, you know, you need to do it. If you don't want to grow your business, then this is not a conversation for you. If you don't want to be able to leverage the power of social media, then, hey, I don't even know what to tell you. That's not, you know, but what I would tell someone in that position is, look, you just want to put yourself in a position. You have a special gift. You're doing amazing things. You have a solution that, you want to solve 
and people need to relate with you. You're a mother, you're a father, go and 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 talk about it and you, you be comfortable. You don't have to tell people your private life, but I mean, well, that stuff does work in terms of telling them about you. People relate to that more, um, being vulnerable. But my advice to, you know, your clients out there is you, you have to do it. And it's it's the best time to do it now more than ever. And if you personally don't want to do it, worst case scenario, find someone in your business who can and who can be the face and can go out there in the most authentic and natural way and talk. Because I promise you, your clients learn how to continually do that go on people's podcasts, start their own, or just continue to do that. It, you know, over the, over the 10, 20, 30 years, they're really going to shine. So that would be my advice is, you know, be natural, be authentic, but you got to do it, you know? So that was a really good question. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, worries. Anyone else? Any other questions? Yeah. Okay, guys, thanks so much um, for joining this webinar. I really appreciate it. It was a good, quick one just to motivate people to get out there and, you know, keep working on your brand and, you know, really use LinkedIn, you know, really, really use LinkedIn to, 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 to generate that awareness, generate that, you know, that brand because you can do it. You can build a brand that, that can change the world, you know, and it's just that all you have to do is believe in it, believe in the vision. So, you know, you know, for all the people out there, even on YouTube, you know, you can scan the QR code and you can join our waiting list, you know, um, you know, especially for LinkedIn and being able to even just have access to our webinars, have access to what we're doing and how we're growing, you know, people's personal branding, especially all the high level CEOs out there. Like there's never been a time to build your brand, especially on LinkedIn. So you can always scan the QR code and then you'll come there and you can always be on a podcast. Thanks so much guys for, um, you know, being a part of this. I really appreciate every single one of you guys taking your time because I don't take that lightly and we'll see you guys on the other side.